Imagine living without cooking gas in your apartment, not just for weeks or months, but for years. That is what some tenants in the Bronx have had to do. Now, gas complaints are common, but the long wait time to get it fixed is not. And folks are using hot plates and fryers just to get by, and many are worried that that could lead to a dangerous situation. Here's Seven on Your Side investigative reporter Dan Kraft. I need help. We need help. You can see the desperation in Bruce Robertson's eyes. He moved into this affordable housing co-op in the Bronx more than 30 years ago with his wife, Betty. We need help tremendously. And I mean ASAP. Miracle right now. But for the past two years, his stove has been collecting dust, unable to use it. Terrible. These are the things that we have to use to cook with. Microwave, air fryer, and crock pot. So you've been getting creative. I have to. Con Edison turned off the building's gas back in January of 2021 due to a gas leak. They can't turn it back on until repairs are made to the building's century-old pipes, which means more than 40 families have been living just like the Robertsons ever since. We did some digging and found thousands of people file complaints about not having cooking gas, but it usually takes just two weeks to resolve the issue. In this case, it has been more than two years. We haven't been just, just complaining. We've been complaining for a number of years now. And it's ridiculous. The Department of Buildings issued violations since then, ranging from an illegal propane tank hooked up to the boiler and construction work done without permits. Complaints that have since been resolved. I said this is Dan with Channel 7 News. We reached out to Alliance Property Management and Development, who started managing the building about a year after the leak first happened. Okay, they just hung up. They wouldn't answer my questions. Instead, they emailed me a one-page letter saying fixing the pipes is a complicated and expensive process and the co-op lacks the financial resources to fix the problem. Plus, it's made worse due to an ongoing maintenance and rent strike, which, as you can see by the signs on some of the tenants' doors, it's something they're not keeping a secret. And you're putting your money right now in escrow. It, we have to. We have no other choice. The property manager also said Alliance has been helping the co-op's board in managing the distressed property without compensation since March of last year to ensure that the property becomes and remains habitable and financially sound. We don't get no help from nobody. As for the city, a spokesperson tells us they've issued violations to the owner for the failure to provide an adequate supply of kitchen gas, and they're making progress with the property manager to ensure service is safely restored to residents as quickly as possible. We, of course, will let you know what happens with this story. We started looking into this issue because a viewer sent us a tip. If you have a story you think should be investigated, please let us know. Here's my email right here, seven on your side, dan at abc.com. You, of course, can also find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Sandra? Those poor people. Thank you very much, Dan.